If you've solved several chemistry past papers, you realize that the examiners keep on repeating the same concept over and over again. They just change the format and the numbers of these questions. Me, I've solved more than 100 of those past papers, and I want to share with you the key facts. This should help you to find the answer much faster and improve your grade. Let's start with the first topic. Gases with lower molecular mass diffuse faster. Another factor that influences diffusion rate is temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the rate of diffusion is. In a heating or cooling curve, the change of state such as melting or boiling occurs when the temperature remains constant. That's when the curve becomes horizontal. Let's talk about chromatography, which is a very common question. The RF value is always less than one. And the higher this value, the further the spot will appear on the chromatography paper. If two pigments have the same RF value, they will appear on the chromatography paper as if they are one spot. A pure substance will always appear as a single spot. In addition, the melting and boiling point of pure substances are always one fixed value. On the other hand, impure substances such as mixtures melt and boil over a range of temperatures. Let's talk about lab tools. When you are to measure the volume of a liquid, you have one of three options. A pipette is used when you are to measure 25 cm cubed accurately. If accuracy is not an issue, then always use a measuring cylinder. Burettes are accurate and they measure variable volume of liquids. Let's now move to atomic structure. A cation or positive ion will always have the same electron configuration as the noble gas that comes before it, while an anion has the same configuration as the noble gas that comes right after it. Isotopes have the same chemical properties because they have the same number of valence electrons. Moving now to the mole concept. When you've been asked to determine which quantities have equal number of particles, you need to convert these values into moles, particles with the same number of moles have the same number of particles. Gases with equal number of moles have equal volumes. That's because one mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cubed at room temperature and pressure. One important fact about electrolysis that will help you to solve many questions is the fact that ions are the ones that float in the solution and electrons run in the wires from the anode to the cathode. If a gas appears at the cathode, then this gas is hydrogen. Hydrogen gas appears at the cathode when highly reactive metals from group 1 or group 2 are electrolyzed. Halogens and oxygens are the gases that appear at the anode. Halogens only appear at the anode when using concentrated solutions. Oxygen appears at the anode if a dilute solution was electrolyzed or when having nitrates and sulfate in the electrolyte. If you've been asked about electroplating, then the object to be plated should be placed at the cathode and the electrolyte should contain the same ion that you're trying to plate with. When using copper electrodes, the size of the cathode increases while the anode decreases in size. The color of the electrolyte remains blue. That's because the anode is providing the copper ions. I hope that this was helpful and I shall post the remaining facts in the coming days before the exam.